Michael Tassarian did a speaking tour uh, through Australia, and he hit um, Melbourne, and I saw him when he was out here. He said that within, if one generation of humanity worldwide just put its foot down and said, we will not fight, in, if you want to have a war, you're not having us fight it. If you want to engineer machines of lethal destruction, you'll have someone else do it, not us. If you want to impose bad laws on people and uh, make things very bad for people who have no legitimate cause to have any sort of retribution or uh, punishment in inflicted on them, you'll have to get someone else to do it, because we will not. That's what he said. One generation said that, and you could pretty much stamp out most of the evil on this planet. Okay? It's that simple. What's been bothering me of late is the left wing and an attitude I'm seeing. It's not just that they're uh, not very constructive. I mean, apathetic and cynical was the mar uh, the marker of Generation X. It's not just that they're apathetic and cynical anymore. It's now that they're actively antagonistic to solutions. And I can't say as I blame them, because every time they're presented with a candidate, the candidate forgets their phone number when it comes to voting on an issue that they uh, think is important. Every law that they spruik for, uh, that's a Aussie way of saying, you know, you get out there and sing the praises of, uh, gets rewritten at the 11th hour and voted into uh, legislation when it's uh, in the rewrite stage, and the rewrite is usually one that gets rid of all the stuff they wanted in there. The, you know, every promise they've had has been broken. And I understand that. And now a lot of them, there was a great video by Blinky500. I usually love the guy's stuff, don't get me wrong. Uh, and basically, you know, that they keep doing the scenario of aliens arriving and saying, we had such gifts to share with humanity, if only they could be more mature like us. And I am going to chuck in a whole bunch of links to uh, what would seem like just film clips until you realize where they're getting the footage for them from. And I ask you, does that look like an immature, warmongering species? No. I just see people... Being, having a government projecting its own insecurities and uh, sins onto the people, blaming us for it, when all we need is one generation to have a little faith in itself and say, no, we will not fight in your wars. We will not aid you to um, create machines to fight in your wars. You have to do it yourself or no one will do it. One generation, he said. And, every, and I suppose the real heart of this cynical attack dog attitude I see out of the left is that they don't have faith in anything anymore, so why not be hypocrites? Why not just, you know, give up and toe the line? At least then they could get some semblance of their comfort zone back. I get it, though I can't sympathise with it in the least. So, I've got to tell you guys, I do not like where the left is going these days. <sighs> Even though I understand it completely. If anyone can find the song, You're the Voice Now, uh, it was Freeman Fly sampled by Chris Geo over at uh, Truth Frequency Radio. I'd love to hear it again. And the truth is... Nobody wants to be that first generation that has to suffer through saying no, because there's a lot of retribution that comes through that. And nobody wants to be uh, the people who get beaten up and take, taken away in a police wagon. And everyone wants someone else to go first. Well, you want some real maturity out of humanity? Go first. Anyway, I've been trying this too many times. So I just hope this is right. I'll put in a whole bunch of links in the description bar. Look at them. Make your own judgment.
and I wish everyone the best of, uh, in 2012.